Hello everyone, Blueheart59 here. I want to talk about gun control. We got to stop the madness. Okay. First of all, I want to express my heart and feelings to these children that were massacred a few days back. My heart goes out to you, parents, relatives, anybody that lost people in this crazy, insane incidents. Uh, I want to talk about. Uh, mental stability, okay? Because we can't. We're not going to stop the guns. You're not going to stop guns in the hands of people. It, the guns are like the automobile. They've been around for hundred over hundred years. They're going to be around for probably the next five hundred years. Who knows? But what I'm saying is that I think we should have a first of all, okay, the right to carry. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm staying neutral on this subject. I don't want to piss anybody off. I don't have the right to say anything to the amendments, what's going on here. But I know that uh, if I'm in a restaurant or a school and the manager has a firearm behind the counter and right to carry, I feel safe in case somebody comes in and wants to whack me or anybody. Or somebody in a school, in the office, has a concealed to carry, would have saved these poor children. I mean, it wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have got past the front door. He could have, but he could not have. But the thing is, okay, let's get back to gun control now. Um, the thing about gun control is, is that mental stability. Are you mentally stable to own a firearm or possess a firearm? That's what I want to get at, okay? And I talked to my relatives and friends that also have concealed carry, okay? I'm, I don't have a concealed carry, okay? So I'm just saying that I feel safe out in public when I know that maybe seven out of 10 people will save me if somebody's attacking me or else, you know. But what scares me is that, okay, many, many guns are being issued, but you get a permit, okay, you go get a gun permit, you get your right to carry, okay? That's cool. You get you spend your money for that. You go to training. They do a background check. They do a, a mental background check. All that. They do all that they're supposed to do. They better be. Okay. That's what I'm getting at right now. Okay. Now, I asked my relatives and friends, again, would you submit to a mental stability test in order to get your gun concealed carry? Okay. And you know what? Everybody says yes, they would. It could be a 15-minute test, a questionnaire, or even maybe, I don't know, I don't know. There's, there's got to be some type of test to, to, are you, like I said, a, a mental stable test. Because it's happened that there's been killings where these people went out and purchased guns and then just went and whacked people. And they had no criminal background, but they snapped. It's, it's got to stop. you got to stop this madness. So, you know, it's... I don't know. I don't know what to say. But I want some feedback, you guys. Let me know. Everybody let me know, please. But I know that uh, the, the, the recent killing of these poor innocent children could have been prevented if the principal had a concealed carry. Yes, it could have been. Could stop that. But at the same time, can everybody handle a gun? It's like I said, mental ability again. Okay, the, okay the, the, the shooter had mental issues from his past. And his mom knowingly knew that. So how accessible were the guns, too? That's another subject I want to talk about. Okay, if, if I have a family member or a relative that's mentally unstable, I'm sure going to have my guns secure and locked up where he can't get them. Well, somebody says, okay, yeah. What if you get your keys? Get your key to the safe. Yeah, that can happen too. But we have to be aware. Con you know, gun control is gun control. You have to control your firearm in the right mind or from people that can do damage. They're not stable up here. So maybe come up with a test. And uh, another thing, okay, okay, getting back to the shooting now. The kid went in and got these uh, assault rifle and two handguns that accessible why weren't they in a safe we don't know i don't know the whole story but 
maybe they should come up with a okay some type of gun drawer like a dresser drawer or even a little uh, a cabinet or something that you need a heat activated thumbprint to open the lock to get to the gun there you go nobody can get it but you but if you pass that mental stability test it's great you're not going to snap hopefully you won't snap but there's ways they can find out so anyway that's what I want to bring up and uh, you know as far as ammunition goes how much ammo can we go buy can we go into a local sporting goods store can I buy like 500 or a thousand rounds of ammo with cash do I need a permit to buy that we have to regulate the bullets also if you regulate them and somebody comes up with a shopping cart full of ammo you got to, you know, something ain't right here. I heard that's true. You can buy all the ammo you want. Maybe we'll raise the price of the bullets. I don't know. But now people are going to get pissed off because I said that. It costs more money. But then again, getting back to this uh, control. Uh, you guys, I don't know what to tell you guys, but, you know, it's just like, that's my issue on it. And, uh, you know, like I said, mental stability tests. You know, 1% of the population is, is insane which is very less than that, they can actually go out and probably buy them, buy, get a gun permit, you know. So anyway, guys, my, like I said, I'm, I'm out of here. My heart goes out to the families and the victims of this last tragedy. So, all right, guys, peace out, Blue's Art 5-9. See y'all.